welcome, welcome, one and all, back to the stream, Retro Sunday and Arcana, and hopefully things are going to go a little bit better than they did last week. So, because, well, if you were here last week, then you will recall that all the sound dropped out on me, the stream kind of crashed, and I wasn't able to get it going again, so then I had to kind of stop. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right back into it and head back to the Tower of Stavery, or Savory, or whatever it's called. <coughs> that place. Before I do that, though, I want to check something. Yeah, let's give, uh, let's give, see if I can buy Axis something better before I head on in. Go have a chat with my friend Fabio. Fabio. There he is. Uh, do do do. I can give him a Mithril Shield. That should do. I'll trade in his Iron Shield for that. No, I'm good, thank you. I presume I'm good anyway. Alright, Axes, my man! Axes, is is is. Equip that, why don't you? Boom. Okie dokie, pokey. Let us head on to the tower. See if I can recall where it is I have to go. Yeah, I think I've got to go up those stairs on the right, right? Right. Because I think it was not too long after I had gone in through the door Sala unlocked for us that everything went to shit, so... Hopefully things go a little bit better this time. It seems like I've just been plagued with technical difficulties for weeks now. At the very least, I think I have the uh, shenanigans that were going on with my audio system straightened away. Like the audio system I used to record, at least. Because I'm pretty sure what happened with the sound with this last week was less to do with all that jazz and more to do with... The capture card. I think the capture card might have screwed up on me at that point. Away with ye, knight! Your red armor is silly, and I wish to see it no more. What did I tell you, knight? The silliness will not stand. And then we go right, and then we go left, and then we go right, and then we go left. And then we go up! Yeah, over there is where I left off, wasn't it? Oh, hi! Actually, no, fire is, uh, the, the wind would work better here, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Which is funny, because you would assume that zombies would be more affected by fire, but no. Due to the elemental matchup, wind is more preferable.
I keep forgetting what the colors mean and what the matchups are, you know? Which is a shame. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's break out the uh, sylph. Sylph! The Sylphian lady. Jara. How can the knight dodge quickly with that armor? That's what I want to know. Wow. Dude is felt. He's been training. was in rougher shape than I had thought. That's strange. I guess I must have taken a lot of hits that I didn't notice. I have not really been paying too much attention, to be honest. <laughs> Just running through the tower, waving blindly. However, I don't think I used up much of the uh, items I had found. I found. Well, found and or bought. So I should have piles of medicine on me. I am the medicine man. Of course he does. Lightning 3, or switch over to the e -free. Nothing really matters too much, I guess. That's the way I came in. No, no, I need to go this way, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me while I turn in circles for a little bit. Ah, yes, there's where the door was. The break in the map is, yes. You know, the door of the Sala crawled all over. The door is just so sad. Also, I presume her family's been killed, so there's that, I guess. defeat you. Clank. <laughs> the warlock just, like, appears and blindsides Sala. That's what I like to believe happens. It's like he just came from around a corner. Just like decked her in the side of the face. Surprise attack! At which point we then mauled him. Tough bastard, ain't you?
Well, this being a tower and all, I presume the most important part of this place is on top. Vampire bee? I wasn't expecting to see any of those in here. So, let us explore further down this aisle before heading upstairs. Is that the best you can do? I shall cleave ye in twain with my mighty axe, for I am the Axeman. Ooh, shaman rub. Presumably that's a Sala thing. A Sala thing that probably isn't much better than what she already has equipped. Oh no, it is much better than what she has equipped. Cool. Alright. Good thing I came this way. I will not put up with your nonsense. I'll B and C. And F. I will put up with their nonsense, I guess. But only for so long. This is a big, wide open room. That's kind of a nuisance. I like to be funneled through a tight corridor. Hello, things. <laughs> take that! Yes, it did. It did take that. It did nothing to it. I probably should have changed spirits, but you know... Rooks is too lazy to do that, I guess. And by Rooks, I mean me. carry on there's something I need to test because this is something I'm going to be paranoid about for quite some time and there we go all right cool 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 just had to make sure my mic was still working properly monsters Breakouts. Um, a person. Maybe merit. Let's see what let's see what she can do. I keep forgetting the uh, the hierarchy or weaknesses of elements in this game. But some of them make sense, if I remember correctly. Some of them don't. The only one I think I really remember is that Earth is green, wind is yellow, and winds damages Earth. I think. 
It's really the only one I remember all that much. Mummies! Big, wide, open space. I suppose I should try to explore most of this area, because I think there might be some decent items around here, if that robe was any indication. You see, in this particular case, it'd be better if I had Sylph out. Fix that. Although first Rooks needs to stand there and start screaming about his power. Power! I have the power! Bugbears, I'm not too worried about bugbears. Yeah, that's a good strike, Sylph. That's a good strike. I'm very proud of you, you ethereal bag of wind. Wish wand, which I think I already have. Do I? Yes, I've already got the wish wand. Okay, well, I can just go back and sell it. There's that at least. It's not like I've really had a lot of trouble with money in this game. I've gotten stuck in dungeons so often that, well, I just accumulate piles of the stuff. I am incredibly rich, and then I go, to, uh, go back to town, and I become incredibly poor. It's almost as if Rooks has a gambling problem, except he gambles with his life in fighting monsters. So it appears to me that there's a pile of good equipment in this tower, so I'm going to have to explore a lot more than, um... I mean, I try to explore as much as I can anyway, it's just I was getting a lot- I was getting heavily fatigued while I was exploring the ice mine. At which point I decided, you know what? Nope. I should consider myself fortunate that it seems like treasures are in sensible places, like in little alcoves and stuff. And there's not just one lying around in the middle of the floor. Because that would be a nuisance if I had to go poking around everywhere. Oh, I probably should have called in the sylph. No, all well, flame works. Do more damage to the vampire bee. Okay, 
jerk. Be a jerk and dodge my attack. Again? Wow. Dude just don't want to die. How about this dude? That dude can die. That guy can die some more. There we go. I believe in you, Sala. I knew you could do it. And look, now you've gained the level. And you can impair the ever-living hell out of people. Money! Everybody wants it. That's why they call it money. was hardly threatening. This is mildly more threatening. Only mildly, though. Do I know who that has to go to? 92 to... 122! Hell yes! I can chop all kinds of wood. That's what we're gonna use it for, right? 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 Keep exploring the edges, see if I can find any other item. Yikes! This looks like a job for the Sylph! Sylph, Sylph, Sylph. Well, I mean, seeing as how you're here, you free, so you may as well burn some fools. have rather high defense, so maybe it's not fair for me to judge it based off of that. I was gonna have her use lightning, but at this point it hardly seems like there's much sense. Boom! There we go. There's the stairs I came in. So I found a demon axe, and I found a... thing. Wish wand. And some money. This place doesn't really seem to be laid out in any... Oh wait, no, it kinda does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... There should be maybe one more item I can find, or perhaps two. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, so if I cut straight on down this way... Ruin that warlock's day. Because unless I miss my guess, there should be another item here somewhere. Nope, that was his stairs.
let's uh, check out here. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. Maybe there's some kind of little alcove hidden inside this thing. Dodged? How dare you? That's not gonna do much to the bee, but... A little bit of extra damage never hurt. Well, me. Never hurt me. How dare you? Honestly, the bee is no more danger dangerous than everything else, so it's probably just as well to kill everything around us. is more dangerous than everything else. There. Tell you what, we're all pretty messed up, so how's about we just take a nap? I think I've got plenty of sleeping bags and such. Well, I have two sleeping bags and two tents. Maybe not as much as I thought. Okay, I can only see maybe two more areas I might find a hidden item. Oh, I see plenty of areas where I can be murderized by monsters. again. To kill this knight! Seems pretty unlikely there's anything else on this floor. Well, except for a weird graphical glitch where it looked like the wall kind of came in on me. I, I presume I'm not the only one who saw that. I hope not. Oh, whatever. Let's, um... Head on upstairs. Floor number four. Fourth floor. Well, this one seems a lot more straightforward. Shahali. Looks like this this is your least favorite chapter. I don't know, I've really, really hated the ice mine. Like with a vengeance. So so far I'm not finding this anywhere near as annoying as that. It took me forever to get through the ice mine. I was so confused by that place. At least with this place, the only way I can go is up. I had to do so much floor hopping in the ice mine. Mm, let's try this way. Bees! Well, a bee, at least. No, I didn't mean to attack the bee, but... I meant to attack the bugbear. 
Well, hopefully that means he's going to die now. Oh yes, believe you me, I did a lot of traveling back and forth when I was going through the ice mine. And I got turned around several times. Of course it didn't help that I did that in two, uh... I did that in two sessions that were a week apart, so when I started playing it again after the first week, I completely forgot the areas I'd already gone to. And what way led to where, so... yeah. I probably made it more confusing than it needed to be. We'll go with that. head against the wall. Wait, what? Too bad. You haven't yet acquired the Earth Spirit. But, but I did! What? I didn't? Okay. <laughs> We're invulnerable. So I didn't really have the Earth Spirit, it was all a ruse? Also, why is it not playing the boss music? Why is this just like regular old fight music? Son of a bitch, um, I better use this on him. Avoidance? What? Okay, something tells me Barra there is gonna have to go down. This might also help. I presume, is strong against fire? I'm, I'm going to, like, just assume that. You know what, screw it, just attack. Attack! Water 3. It's not going to do much against Stara, but... 61 points of damage, it's not too bad, I guess. I thought green was Earth. Or do they just combine and give me the Earth Spirit? Yeah, yeah, this, that, that, that's just what I was about to say. It's like the attribute, the attribute spells, they give you a description when you're looking at it outside of combat, but they don't give you a description when you're in combat, which is annoying. 
because it'd be better if it gave you, like, a general idea of what it did. But alas, that's not the case. Well, it didn't occur to me I can just have her as my designated healer. That makes sense. Now, there's no need of that. I can't recall if I cast that or not, but let's do it again. But she's getting a lot of turns in a row, you know? Nuts to you. Well, just for argument's sake, let's cast, oh, I don't know, a tribute six on this thing and see what it does. I think that might have been fire and water, therefore it didn't do anything. Judging by the colors. How about a tribute three? It did a little bit more damage. has mastered Chaos Wind. I am very happy I found that... Oh, I, I have earned the Earth Spirit again. But yeah, I'm really glad I found that axe for Axis's... You know, that guy. Me nowhere. Boom. Burn them all. Maybe I should have used Flame 3, but I am very stingy with my MP. Though it appears I may not have needed it. Boom. You get a level increase, and you get a level increase! Um... Map, yeah. Yeah, let's just run in a circle. Why not? Let Ifrit regenerate a bit more. <gasps> oh no! Surprise! Oh, Rooks is in rougher shape than I expected. Hmm. That's not so great. Now you fright. Kill them all! Or maybe not him. Kill them all except him. Or or him. Kill them mo most. Tough little bugger, ain't you? Or a tough little bugbear, I suppose I should say. Take your medicine. You too. Is that the best you can do, says the Pillar of Flame? It's gotta be very disconcerting. Because I currently have her equipped with the 
wish wand. Like, I can't help but think that all of Sala's physical attacks are her just poking people with a wand. Oh, I was going to call in the, uh, Sylph. Oops, I forgot. Oh well. At this point, I might not even need her. Oops. But how can a zombie dodge? Zombie dodges very well, apparently. Ah, <laughs> jeez! the only monster it doesn't affect is the one that I wanted it to hit. That makes sense. for this one. Screw it. Chaos Wind. I didn't realize that's what that spell did. It's basically an instant death spell. I can't imagine it works against bosses. So it says they were swept away by the wind, but we're in the middle of a tower. Where did they go? Just further down the corridor, maybe? Am I fighting them again? Who knows? Oh great, there was no effect on the 2 I one the 2 effect. It's amazing how frequently that happens. Well, let's try lightning too then. Better. had to be not as gung-ho about it. What a lovely twisty corridor this has been. traditionalist about. That knight in the face and bowl right over him. Ooh. This part of the tower is shiny looking. Rather pretty. Venus and Morlock. for some of these variant monsters. I have no idea what a realist is. Well, I mean, clearly this is a Medusa of some kind. Or, well, Gorgon, I suppose I should say. Medusa was a specific person. If you want to be real specific about it. Oh, 
Well, let's break out somebody else. Let's try... Try Dao, see what kind of damage he does against these guys. Yeah, pretty much the same. Not different enough to warrant much. Never giving me a taste of my own medicine. Maybe another one of those rooms that has a bunch of items in it. Why, yes? Demon mail! I can turn axes into something evil. Because I presume he's the only person who can equip that. I'll fix you up. Mm, yeah, let's break out... Married. See what she does against those things. She seems like the healing spirit, and those things look like they're rather unholy, so... Stand this way. Treasure! Money. More money. I get the distinct feeling I probably should have explored back in the main chamber first. So I probably need to go that way. of damage. And uh, maybe I should just stick with the uh, e freight dude. Then again, he may just do more physical damage, period. Nope. Do I use that? Though I may want to go to town before I reach the end of this place. We'll see yet. See what that does? And of course it doesn't have any effect on the one thing I wanted to see what it would do. Maybe I should have had her attack the ghost. Oh well. <laughs> oh, it's nice they're having such a restful snooze. Yeah, 
Is that all they do? Just cast sleep? Oh no, they do attack. Is that the best you can do? Rook says in the sleep. Rooks and mumbles. Wake up, please. There. There's one of you, at least. There, kill that ghost. Did you have a good rest, Rooks? You jerk. Let's break out Efreet. I think he just might be the most useful one in this situation. these ghosts as soon as I can. Oh, Sala's turn for a nap. Well, at least that's fair. And Axis is just a lady ba uh, lazy bastard anyway. Rook seems to do a lot of damage to those things. That's nice. I approve. Ghost killer. That's the way I came in. Never mind. Uh, this way then. No dodging allowed. You must die! Taking that last turn. Oh well. <laughs> Hits X every time, doesn't it? Of course, there's no effect on that ghost. Oh! Well, at least he didn't stay down for too long. Good for him. decides and wants to put us to sleep the more traditional way by knocking us the fuck out. would appear that I've discovered everything up here, so I guess I'll just carry on down that corridor. It's unlikely there'd be any other alcoves off from that. These things usually seem to have a fairly uniform layout. Unless it's the ice mine. I'm just gonna keep harping on about the ice mine. <laughs> Screw around with you 
does. Now you just burn. Well, two of you burn. This section of the place looks like it might be a little bit more confusing, I guess. Or at the very least, more open. Nice open floor plan. I don't want to go up there yet. Oh, you're new. A Dragonian! Any relation to an Aragonian, or is that just simply the wrong series? These things are pretty tough, man. I figured one strike after getting burned alive would have been enough to kill them. Good for you, Rooks. You broke 30. Rooks has mastered ruinous mission. Ephraim has mastered destroy. Wow, that seems dire. Okay, I gotta check this. I gotta check this shit out. What, uh... What is Ruinous Mission? Oh, a spirit gives a supreme sacrifice to protect you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Destroy! Obvious. Confused all. Prote I, I've, I haven't actually gone through and read these. That's probably a problem, because I pre just assumed I had a general idea what they'd do. But yeah, confused all. Prevents logical thinking in all enemies. Also, stomp all is worded kind of strangely, too, because you would assume that would be... You would assume that would be, like, an attack spell, like the, the- it would just, like, smush things or something, which sounds like a- an Earth Spirit attack, but no, it just raises everyone's attack, which is, you know, interesting. So yeah, let's look at these attribute ones. Effective against fire and wind, effective against water and fire. Okay, so both of those are effective against fire. Effective against earth and wind. But, you know, it would be nice if either A, they could they gave you these descriptions in a fight, or B, they named the spell something a bit more sensible. And it seems very strange that they, like, all of them affect two different attributes. hidden item down this way. How about up here? <laughs> All of them are just kind of crammed <laughs> into that uh, little cubby hole, aren't they? Now they're all going to burn. Although, you know what? Screw it. Let's just try to destroy. See what it does. No effect. Succumb to shock. <laughs> of course, it being a just insta-kill spell means it's probably not all that accurate. I should probably just stick with uh, fire.
But yeah, you're right, they don't even need to change the wording all that much, just even if they put in the initials of whatever element they're talking about, that would just make it so much easier. Thing because it, it it can't have been uh, a memory or interface problem like that space problem because it looks like there is enough space in there like you say because I know a lot of older games do have character limits for that kind of thing but it doesn't seem like that would be an issue here Well, now that Axis has been fully demonized. Yeah, there are a number of things in this game that are translated oddly, so even if, like, that was cleaned up, then they probably would have been able to do it. Oh yes, there have been some very strange character limits in games when you go back far enough. Like, I don't know if I'm remembering this correctly, but I think in the original Final Fantasy, like, I think your character limit was four. You, you could name your characters whatever you wanted, but I think your character limit was just four. So... <laughs> You can name them whatever you wanted, within a very limited scope. Yeah. stomps on us. No, I didn't mean to discard anything. Okay, there we go. Now I got it. Sleeping bag. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Even in the original Final Fantasy, with that limit, like, like you're writing out there, the things that they did call them kind of made sense, if you thought about it. I can't remember what Lock 2 is, though. The rest of them are pretty easy to pick out. Increased accuracy due to a bug? Oh dear. No wonder nobody would want to use that spell.
course, I love that about certain games. It actually kind of makes it pretty amusing. I mean, that one is pretty subpar in comparison, but, like, there's a lot of games that have bugs in them that aren't really anything directly obvious, except just, like, a coding issue. Final Fantasy VI had a pile of those. As much as I love that game, it was a pretty bug-ridden mess. It didn't directly impact how the game played in general, but how specific mechanics worked. Yeah. Of course, the one I love the most from, uh... Yeah, Final Fantasy VI is held together with duct tape. That's a good... Hope and duct tape. That's a good way to put it. Again, I love it. It was my... Probably my favorite Final Fantasy game, if not one of the top. But... Oh my god, the bugs. Like, one of my favorites is one that people kept calling Psycho Sign. Wherein, the character Sion, like, I can't remember exactly what... I, I can't remember exactly what, uh, what you had to do to trigger it, but it had something to do with... I think turning him into an imp was involved somehow, and killing him, and then resurrecting him, there was a certain series of effects you had to apply to him, and then kill him, and then bring him back to life. And then when he came back to life, he just kept automatically attacking. Like, nobody else would get a turn, because Sion would keep attacking until whatever he was attacking was dead. People have used it against the final boss. It's hilarious, because you do that, and then he just flips and rips them apart, and then it's game over. And the thing that makes that even funnier is when they ported that game to the, uh... But I think when they ported the game to the Game Boy Advance, that glitch is still in there, but you have to do it differently to activate it, which is strange. So that, that almost seems intentional at that point. Oh yeah, the Vanish Doom one, that's a classic. Practically everybody knew about that one. It wasn't really until, I'd say, early to mid-2000s, probably is when people started becoming really aware of the psycho sign glitch. Of course, one of my favorite examples of that kind of glitch would have to be from the original Civilization game. We're in a uh, stack overflow problem and love turning Gandhi into a nuclear happy madman. Which people found so terribly amusing that the uh, crowd that made the Civ games eventually just made a, a feature. <laughs> yeah, because I think the way it works is that. It's once your civilization changed to a certain government type, I think it might have been like democracy or something, that they... They took negative one or negative two points to the attribute that gave their leader the uh, incentive to use nukes. Well, not even the incentive to use nukes, it lowered their aggression towards other nations, that's what it was. And that usually ended with nuclear exchange. But um, what ended up happening is because Gandhi's aggression was so low to begin with, his actually went into a negative number, which accidentally put it up to like 220 something when the maximum was originally 10. Meaning he was constantly declaring war on everybody and nuking the shit out of everything in sight. Yeah. Yeah, Final Fantasy 2 is a really hard game to tell in that case, because Final Fantasy 2 was such a strange game anyway. But that's an interesting thing about games of that time period, is because... Rather than stick with what they started with, they decided to completely change everything in the site. There's a bunch of games from back then that did that. I mean, Final Fantasy 2 was worlds different than the original. 
Um, then you had Super Mario Bros. 2, which, of course, was actually just a repaint of a completely different game, but still counts. And then there was Zelda 2, which was nothing at all like, uh, the first game. because sometimes a bug becomes a design feature. Just ask Bethesda about that. They are probably the modern kings for that kind of thing. except the free. Well, in that case. Well, I would have been just about to attack the thing. Good old infinite money glitches. It seems like practically any game with a currency system has one at some point or another. When you absolutely positively want to break the world's economy. Okay, that's the way out. I want to do some more exploring down here though. Like crackling there for a minute, but it seemed to have gone away on its own. Good. Although, in a way, that, uh. Yeah, re reviving your, uh, reviving your main fighter and they're confused. That, um, I mean, that does suck because, of course, your fighter might come back from the dead and then slaughter everybody in the party. But at the same time, that's also kind of interesting because it just kind of makes you think. It's like, that person just died, and then they've come back from the dead. I'd be pretty confused, too. Where am I? Who am I? Why do I hurt so much? Who are you people? You know, that sort of thing. strategic fashion. I know the way out, but I presume there's something here I can find. Maybe. Hopefully.
Yeah, now status effects not being cleared by death, that, that strikes me as being straight up a bug, because that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. The in thing does, for certain things. I can get that, but death? Nah. Nah, that, that seems a bit sketchy. from, is it? Oh, it is, yeah. This goes to show how turned around I got and how little attention I was paying to that just then. starting to get the feeling that I might have to return back to town and come back. further. It doesn't add much aside from padding, I suppose. Oh, hi, Rooks. You're kind of dying now. Yeah, let's use Flame 3. Screw it. Pretty good advice. I've still got a lot of, uh, I still got a lot of items on me, but I don't think I've got enough to clear all the way through to the top of this place. Anyway, thanks for dropping by, and I will be here later. If I'm not playing this, I'll probably have moved on to something else and say, oh, I don't know, an hour's time. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna dive out of this place right now and come back and explore the rest of this room later. Go home, Rooks, go home. Although I suppose this technically isn't his home, but you know. Three hundred GP? It's highway robbery! Either, my friend, I require equipment. Although, let me sell you some things first. Don't need the Morning Star anymore. Or the Mithril Chain, or the Mithril Shield. Or the White Robe, for that matter. I don't think... Oh wait, no, I have two wish wands, that's what's going on. Okay, I got confused there for a minute. Because <laughs> I found one in the tower and I'd also bought one, yeah. Alright. Okay, I don't think I need much more in terms of weaponry and equipment, so let's just buy some items. Let's 
close by. Some more sleeping bags. Because I don't think I have any anymore. They are useful to have. And maybe a couple more tents. And what else? I think I'm pretty good for flasks. Oh, some more strength on me. Buy three, give one to each of them. Maybe three endurance honeys as well, just to make things a bit more even. Round of honey for the boys and the girl. I was just sit here and sit here in front of the door and down a shitload of honey. We're gonna be so sticky. Head on back. Oh wait, no, I've already saved. No. That was just a reflex action. To the tower! The tower of savory. I mean, savory. See, I keep I keep saying savory, but I, I don't even know if most people are going to be even aware of what I'm talking about. Because yeah, savory is a word; it's a quality of like food, mostly meats and stuff like that. It's a sort of a flavor, I guess. But I'm talking specifically about a garnish called savory. It's very much a Newfoundland thing, but um, I'm pretty sure you can get it elsewhere. It's I don't even know what it is really. <laughs> it's some kind of plant that's dried. But largely, it's used for, uh... Well, I most often see it used for, like, dressing, for turkey and stuff. Like, you mix it in with your bread, makes it deli uh, makes it delicious. Savory is like an herb, I guess. No, it, it must be. It must be used several places. It's just so very much entrenched in our society that I just take it as being a Newfoundland thing. And there's a farm here in the city where I live now that just basically mass produces the stuff.
Follow me! Wait, did I go the wrong way? I went the wrong way. Huh, fancy that. Oh yeah, yeah, because the door. The, the door is a split in the map. I forgot about that. It's sad how badly it has my mind warped, but I cannot see the word B or see any sort of B character without thinking about Nicolas Cage and goddamn Wicker Man. Oh no, not the bees! They're in my eyes! Killing me is not gonna bring back your goddamn honey! And so on. mastered sleep. He's after being put to sleep so often by ghosts, he suddenly learned how to do it. He's learning by example, that's all it is. Okay, I sooner need the uh, soul for this. give this game is that I really like that you can call a spirit, like calling the soul for example is a free action and I can still attack after that. That's nice, because it would really suck if it wasn't. Of course now there's not much point in using lightning, I can just wail on the thing, but self does a little bit more damage I guess. One. Nice. That's a handy spell to have. And I believe that way is the... Yep, that's the stairs. Alright. Okay, now I need E-Freak back. But, well, seeing as how you're here. Lightning bolts! pretty much done exploring this room. I didn't uncover every single square, but I didn't really need to. Always go for the mage first. Not that they do a whole lot more damage than anything else, they're just annoying. Flame three.
They have been destroyed! These people, though, have not! He's hanging out here in a tower with a bunch of monsters, I would presume he's criminal scum. This tower is laid out rather strangely. It's a lot more straightforward than the last dungeon again, but it's like the floors are all shaped oddly. Occasionally, one of the characters gets two attacks in a row. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> the bee appears, Ifri tackles it. Flaming tackle! with that spell isn't so much that it does a lot of damage, my nuisance with that spell is that it hits everybody and it takes a lot of, so much more time to go through. Boom! I've got no time for your shenanigans. Shenan Rogans. You think you're swift. <laughs> Look at him know he's swift. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's like they're packed in here like sardines. Seriously, I've fought enough of practically everything that there's no way they can all fit in these hallways. It's like one constant Three Stooges scenario. <laughs> Move it, Chad, ahead! Yes, 
yes, who cast the spell of Smash 1. Good for you. You must be so proud. To be honest, I probably should have used the uh, fire spell again. So, you know, good for her. Again with the warlocks. Always with the warlocks. I hate them so much. and kill them all now. Stand our might! I was doing pretty good. There were like stretches of this dungeon where I went almost a full corridor without getting attacked by anything, but now it seems like every two steps I take. Yeah, the the random encounter rate in this game is kinda screwy. One of those RPGs. Yeah, no 
some spells. Just wail on them. Though these things are kind of dangerous. floors this place has, but I think I must be coming pretty close to the end of it now. I presume. I kept saying that about the last dungeon, though, and I kept getting proven wrong. Okay, yes, this is the, uh... This is the floor I left off on. See if there's any hidden alcoves or anything. Uh, ghosts! Crap! I've got a color defreed for this. Most of us, everyone's just gonna be put to sleep. Well, they might still, but you know. Good thing Brooks does a fair amount of damage against them. This hell, I can just straight up kill one, it seems. specifically to deal with the ghosts, but only now it doesn't get a chance to attack. What a large, pointless room. a big old square that I think has no purpose. An interesting collection of assholes. It's nice that all these various species of monster can set aside their differences and unite under the bander of uh, the bander the banner of murdering my ass. Screw it, we're just gonna keep calling it a bander now. Sala learned something new. Whatever that may be. And maybe I 
I should have used Flame 3, but meh. Can't be using all the MP. Now Salah's the only one to sleep this time? That's strange. Axis is always up for a good nap. Now Salah's good for only a power, a power nap though, she's fine. seem to have more hit points than a lot of the other monsters. Uh, let's use some medicine. Now lots of pointless wide open spaces on this floor. Okay, so that's the stairs up. Am I missing anything if I go upstairs right now? Okay, I've already been that way. I haven't been all the way down here yet, though. screw around with you guys. Whoa! That kinda seems like overkill, Rooks. Maybe I should have had him attack the Rylos instead. So what I'm getting out of this is this was a big open room that had absolutely nothing in it. Just a pile of monsters. Let's get out of here then. Well, when I can, I guess. Is that the best you can do? I'm going to play things a little bit differently and not attack the Warlock first, because to be honest, he seems to be the least dangerous of this badge. As annoying as the Smash spell is.
Would you please let me get to the stairs? That would be rather nice of you. Ugh. Although maybe I should have attacked the bugbears too. Wait, you only hit one of them? Falling down on the job, you freak. because of us. We're close enough too, at least. Once I get to the foot of the stairs, maybe I should use another sleeping bag. I do have a few of them, so it's not exactly going to be a waste to make sure I'm up to snuff before I go up to the next floor. I wonder how many floors this tower has. Oh, hi, you're new. Reach. Reach, he's called. Reach is pretty dangerous, it seems. Not as dangerous as Rooks, but pretty dangerous. These things are new. So is the guy. The guy in the middle is even a new uh, character model. Nostrus, I guess, is who he is. And the ghosty things are Fult, whatever the hell Fult is. Oh well, Nostrus isn't all that tough. Okay, I'm gonna have to switch out to soul for this. Kinda sucks that it didn't affect that one though. was an interesting fight, which I almost get to redo again, so we have reaches this time. Oh shit, I was gonna have him call an Efreet. I forgot. Oh well. Sleep too? Good for you. Now I can't call any freeze. And that son of a bitch knows lightning. Well, you need to go. Okay, so the monstrous has to go on account of the lightning spells, and the, those things need to go on account of the fact that they just put people to sleep. I should 
change my targets here. Ah, Axe is awakened. Good for him. Kill that thing. Good for you. Kill this thing. Um... This way, I guess? Ugh. Merlinis! You're new! We know my hatred of wizards, so I can only imagine this is going to be terrible. Flame 2. Alright then. Well, if they cast flame, I'm going to need to switch out the Sylph then. Sylph does not like fire. Grab. Ugh, you jerk! Of course, he freaks in pretty rough order, so... It'd be terribly ironic if he gets killed by fire. Uh, does Rooks actually know how to... Can he... Yes, I can heal these spirits. Good. For some reason, I thought I couldn't. I don't know why. Oh, this is just going to be one of those ring around the rosy things, isn't it? Of course. Oh good! Something I can burn to death. Burn to undeath. Well, you know, the ones I actually hit. Okay, I think they can only... use sleep on a single... Like, single characters, not everybody. Which is... good. Better than the alternative, at least. Screw it. Flame 3. That wasn't as good as I would've liked, to have to, uh, liked it to have been. on you! I'm a light sleeper! should swap Eddie Freed because they seem to do more damage to him. But I'm lazy, so let's just finish the fight and carry on.
What have we down here? Nothing. I was kind of hoping for a treasure. <laughs> Instead, I just keep hitting my head against the wall. Because a mild concussion will make this so much easier to do. One would presume. Well, that seems unnecessary. Look the worst for wear. Gonna have to rectify that. Rooks and Axe should be able to survive one more encounter, I hope. Especially if it's only against this guy. Well, it appear this wing of the tower had nothing at all on us. I guaranteed this up here is a dead end with no treasure, but... Oh wait, no, actually it's not. It's something else entirely. Oh, it's a pile of monsters. Cool. says in his sleep yet again. Who, who knew he was such a sleep talker? <laughs> so does Sella learn something new? Oh, no it does not. No, it does not. Listen to me. I'm sorry, Sella. 
I did not mean to call you an it. I keep accidentally going into the cards. The cards, which I don't really use. Which maybe I should. Okay, that appears to be another door, which I don't really want to go into right now. Wait! There's a door! I wonder if I can get in. Oh, that was Rooks who said that. Take care! It may be a trap! <laughs> if it is a trap, I will fall into a trap! That's... that's a pretty odd brag there, Rooks. What's happening? I don't get to explore the rest of the... What? I didn't want to go into the door. Shit. Oh well. Ariel! Well, you've come this far. Uh, I guess I'm not going to get to explore the other rooms in this floor, but okay. Hand over the crystal sword and the enchanted jewel. It's too late. The preparations for the reign of evil have already begun. But I don't think you have the spirit sword. Tifa has made all of the arrangements. What? Tifa? Where is she? She is my sister! What? Tifa is the other princess? <laughs> See, the thing I love about this game is that basically the entirety of it is just Rooks being horribly confused by everything that's happening around him. Because that seems to be what keeps happening. <laughs> I expect she's been helping to usher in the reign of evil. I see. Tifa's tears are being used. She is from royal family of Lexford. Of course. It's an important key in the rise of the reign of evil. Here's a lovely drinking game for you. Take a shot every time Ariel says reign of evil. Ariel, I cannot forgive you. So, what will you do? Axis, Sala, please let me do this on my own. Understood. Come here, Rooks. I guess I fight Ariel now. How about that? See, this is why I'm always hesitant to, like, the, the honeys that permanently boost your stats. This is why I'm always hesitant to give those to anyone aside from Rooks, because it seems like Rooks is, like, always the one that gets tossed in against somebody. Let's call it the Merit. It'd be nice to have someone to heal me if need be. funny thing is that most of the one versus one fights against human characters like Ariel and the goons that he sends after you typically aren't that difficult. I mean, maybe I'm going to be proven wrong and Ariel is going to be rather tough, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's just use a water spell against him, why not? Boom. So it's not technically Rook's doing this on his own if he's got a spirit with him. Oh dear, that hurt like a son of a bitch. Though he's not doing much to Rook's. I say as he just wails on me. Oh, that was lame. <laughs> One gold! <laughs> Ariel had a penny on him, apparently. Poor guy was broke, apparently ushering the, ushering in the reign of evil is not a well-paying job. Why don't you finish me off? Beware of Galdian. His intention is not world domination. 
He doesn't want to organize a utopian society. His intention. Ariel, that's enough. Attribute 11 spell. Ariel has taken 207 points. Ariel has perished. Okay, then. Ariel! Ariel! God, you're ugly. Ariel, just as I suspected you were the betrayer. You have been used as a pawn, just like your father. You, you are Galnian. I use a Han son. Just like your father, you are a hindrance and an obstacle. This is the beginning of the end for you. I will throw you away like an old rag, the way I did with Ariel. Did you do that to my father? Did you treat my father like an old rag? Weren't you told? I don't know what you were told, but I crushed your parents with my own hands. And then he flies away. We will meet again! If I let you live that long. <laughs> that guardian. The way he says that kind of makes it seem like he's a sitcom or arch nemesis. Oh, that Galnian. Going around, killing my parents, incinerating folks. What a scamp. Brooks, where are you going? Where is Rooks going? Why? What? What's happening here? Why am I alone? This is going to make things so much more difficult now. See, this means I can kind of explore the other side, but if I'm exploring the other side just as rooks... This shit's not going to end well for me. Levels. There's that. Yeah, no, I guess I'll just have to do this. Although, hell, I don't know how much further this uh, I have to go here, so screw it. Maybe I will just carry on just as Rooks and explore the other side of this floor and hope I don't die. I'll just make more excessive use of my spirit powers. Oh, I should have changed that E3. I forgot about that. Thus was E3 is going to be beat to death by ghosts. I think I can possibly leave him out now. Yeah, I'll leave him out for now. See if we can get some health back. Seriously, Rooks, why could you not have let the other two come along with you? They're right there. They're behind that door. There are a pile of monsters who are baying for your blood. It makes no sense for you to do this alone. I 
should probably heal the Ifrit as soon as I can. I should probably heal myself as soon as I can. Oh, the Ifrit's dead. Good for him. That's a good thing I have a spell for that. Okay, doke. So... Oh wait, no, not heal. Um, restoration of spirit restores all of your spirits. Oh, there was- what? That's bullshit! Do I need to have Ifrit out? I thought it was like... In total, like if any of them were gone. There we go, okay. Oh, you know, it's... I, I enjoy wasting MP, and wasting MP is great. See, the way that was phrased, this goes back to the what we were talking about earlier, about the whole um, wording of descriptions and stuff. The way that's phrased, it kind of makes you assume that it restores all of your spirits in one shot if you have more than one taken out. But no, it only restores your active spirit, so, you know. Thanks a lot for the info, game. Go away, you. Lousy nostrils. Also, so what's in that room where Ariel was? What was the point of that room? Oh gee, I'm so glad I explored this corridor. This pointless, pointless corridor. but there was an effect on the giant creature made of fire. I guess we'll just go back the way I was going, and see if we can track down Galleon or whatever it is that Rooks has gotten to his damn fool head to do right now. Oh, this is gonna be problematic. Nah, it's just well for me to just straight up attack. That's not good. Flame three. I'm gonna try to take all this crap out as soon as I can. There's a lot of reasons why this could go poorly.
more medicine. Yeah, I just straight up went the wrong way. I have to go this way. That away. Guys, cut me a break, please. That'd be nice. I have things to do, places to go, people to kill. This way. I have to go this way. Please, no. <laughs> I just really don't want to deal with you guys right now. going to cast flame too? That would suck. Yeah, I think now is the time to heal myself. Thank God, Ifrit's not dead. Can Ifrit get an attack now, please? There. Got it. That evens the playing field a little bit, at least. Freaks down. Yeah, I'm really glad I went and explored that corridor. He said sarcastically. up nearly all of my medicine. Hmm. Now nah, I better save that one. Um, instead, how's about I fully heal myself with... I don't have enough MP. Okay, well, how's about I instead use one of those flasks I'm keeping for no apparent reason? good friend Ifrit. Except I don't have enough MP for that either, so I need to use another gold flask. Oh wait, no, I don't need to use a gold flask on him. That's not the point. The 
The fire spirit has been regenerated. For a minute I thought that said reignited, but I guess it wouldn't be that specific. Uh, let's just max out Rooks' MP. Or at the very least give him a bit more to work with. I really hope this isn't too long. I can't be traversing too much of a dungeon with just ropes. That's not gonna work. I've nearly used up all my material as it is. Try using destroy and see what that does because I'm gonna need to switch him out anyway. Oh, that could have been worse, I guess. effect on her. That would just be too easy. ducking and weaving, seeing if I can find some more stuff, because I get the distinct feeling that there's not really going to be much of anything of use in this area anyway. Well, I guess I'll do a little bit of ducking and weaving, won't I? Oh no. I don't like this. to the end of this soon. No treasure. Come on now. Oh, Darwin! My intention seems to be the same as yours! Why are you here? To give you a hand! Darwin joins the group. So you're telling me I've left behind the two people I came in here with, and in return I have this guy instead. Not to mention, I don't have any equipment to give him, meaning I'm going to have to go back to town anyway. To give him equipment so I can have him be useful. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, this game. I love it, but I really question the choices it makes sometimes. Alright, Darwin, you dumb bastard, let's see if I can give you some better gear. Once I stop spinning in circles and actually go into the arms dealer's place.
Apparently the Dragon Blade is the only thing you can use. Well, the only weapon he can use, I should say. Well, Dragon Blade it is. So the Mithril Plate. Although, come to think of it, I can get Rook some Mithril Mail, too. That should make things a bit more... simple. Because I believe Mithril Mail is a somewhat better... Armor. And he's the only one who can equip it, it seems. Well, him and Axis. I wasn't expecting there to be even more to that place, so what I'm going to do now is have a chat with this lady, apparently, and have her admonish me to be careful again. And uh, no, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna have myself a little sleep. And I'm going to save it. Because I think that's going to be enough of this for one day. I'm going to have to wait and finish Stavery Tower, l well, later, It'll be next time, next Retro Sunday. Because I've got a little bit more time to stream, and what I'd like to do next is something I've been meaning to do for a while now, and that is play through all the Arkham games again, because, as I said ages past, one retro Sunday when I played Batman Returns for the SNES, um, this year is the 80th anniversary of the creation of Batman. 80 years. Batman was created March 1939. So, you know, holy crap, right? And because the Arkham games are so great, I am going to play through them, all of them, throughout the course of, well, of course, the way that I've been streaming lately, being able to do a bunch and then being indisposed for so long, um, I, I, it might not be till after the new year I actually finish all the Arkham games, but I'm going to start anyway. So I am going to sign off for about 15 minutes or so there now, and then I'm going to return with some Arkham Origins if you want to stick by for that. But until then, though, if you happen to stop by, I thank you very much for doing so, as always, and I will hopefully see you in like 15 minutes, and if not, I hope you have a nice day. So, I will see you fine folks soonish.